Hi, welcome back. This is Roger from Red Fox. We're going to continue here with our program of Excel in Bytes, the easy way to learn Excel right from scratch. So it's not such a big daunting task and you can build yourself up to quite sophisticated levels of skills as we go through. And you can stop at whatever level you like, but I'm sure as you go through you'll want to add to your knowledge. But let's get on with today's session. You'll remember last time we did addition and subtraction. We used the auto sum function, which is up here, and we created this little sum here. We have 315 was a total, which was a sum of E3 to E7, and we just double click that, we can see this. Now, one of the things I didn't show you just quickly is that you see this little box appears around the numbers that we're adding. So we can, you see the little button, there's a little tiny button on the corner, and you can grab that. If you want to change that, you can drag it up or down and change, and you'll see that it's changing. It says instead of E3 to E7, it's now up to E2, up to E1 to E7, and as you drag that around, you can also drag it sideways. You can grab a whole bunch of numbers out to the side and above and collect them, but we'll put it back to where it was. Okay, so we're just going to press enter on that. Now, we're going to start with multiplication today. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the number we finished with last time, 215. And let's multiply it by 2. Okay? 2, enter. Now, the way to do this and this is one of the funny things, you will not find a multiplication sign on your keyboard. The X sign you would think is multiplication, but we use that for too many other things. It's a text item. So Excel has decided that we would use the asterisk or star sign for multiplication. Now the way we do this, we want to multiply 2 by 215. So we're going to go equals and we select the cell we want to multiply. Hold down the shift key and hit number 8 where the asterisk is. Okay, and then multiply it by this cell. So you see we've got here E12 asterisk E15 or E12 star E15. And you can see it up there as well. And this is how you multiply, you just press enter. And you'll see that 215 times 2 is 430. Now we could have done it the other way too because multiplication works two ways as you recall from your uh, your primary school math. Um, I should say maths. That's what we say in Australia. Now you can multiply either uh, this one by this one or this one by this one. You get the same answer. So let's just delete what we've done there. We'll go delete and we'll do it the other way around. This time we'll go equals. Remember that tells Excel it's a formula and we put in the first number. This time we're going to use this one here, E15, and we're going to hold down the shift key, hit number 8, and get the star sign, the asterisk sign, and then we're going to choose the second number, which in this case is E12, and we just press enter. We come up with the same answer. So that's a bit about multiplication. Now you can multiply lots of numbers together. If we had, say, let's put uh, 3 in there, for example and uh, we put six in there. Okay, now we're not going to add those together, we're going to multiply them all. Now there isn't a quick way of multiplying these together, you've got to do them one at a time. But we'll delete what we did there and we'll start again. We're going to go equals and we'll take, it's easy to start from the top, the first number, shift, eight, which gives you the asterisk, times, that second number, Shift, get the asterisk, times the third number, shift number eight gives you the asterisk again, and the fourth number. And that's everything, so we've got E12 times E13 times E14 times E15, and we just press enter. Now we've got a big number, 7740. Now one of the things we also did was because we've got this column here formatted as um, accounting, there we are, accounting, and no decimal places, and no currency symbol, we'll just OK on that. 
we're going to put our little underline in again because I really like the little underline. So we just click on the U and we've got this nice little underline. The difficulty with this one is it looks like we're adding it up, but we're not. We're multiplying it through. That's how we multiply. Now I'm just going to take out some of these numbers. We're going to delete those two. And you'll see what's happened. Look at that. It's gone to zero, but that doesn't make sense because we know 215 times 2 is 430. So we just took out those numbers, but remember, it's still multiplying right through, and there's nothing in those two. And you remember that any number multiplied by zero or nothing is nothing. Okay, so we need to change the formula back to what it should be. And we can edit the formula like this. We can do it in the cell or we can do it up here. Now I'll do it up here in this little little bar where we can take out those middle numbers. We're just going to put after the E12 we'll delete one cell that was E13 we've taken out and you'll see the little square around it's disappeared. And we're going to delete just hit the delete key until it's gone the next one so we've deleted those two now it's back to 215 times 2 or E12 times E15 and if we press enter we're back to our 430 again now you might want to practice that a little bit because it's a fair bit to understand the next thing we're going to try is division now if we divide well let's divide it by 3 okay and again, you remember the division sign where you had the uh, the horizontal bar with a dot above and the dot below that we use when we're writing things, we're writing a mathematical operator. Again, Excel doesn't have that, so we take it as a fraction. And you remember that uh, the fraction a half is actually 1 over 2, or 1 divided by 2. The fraction of a 50th is 1 over 50. That's 1 divided by 50. So remember you have 1 and then a bar underneath it and the 50 gives you 1 50th. Well this is going to be how we do it in Excel. We actually have to we'll take the number we're going to divide by. That's this one there. That's the uh, denominator. And the number that we're going to divide is the numerator. So do you remember that? We had the numerator. and the denominator. That's from your mathematics back in primary school. Okay, you don't need to remember those terms, but it's handy to know that the one on the top is the numerator and the one on the bottom is the denominator. So what we're going to do, I'm doing this just to show you so I can identify them. We're going to divide 430 by 3. So we started with equals again. Remember, it's a formula in Excel. It must start with equals. We've got equals, and we're going to choose this one up here, which is E16, and you'll see up there it says E16. And we're going to divide it. Now, to get the sign we need, we use the forward slash. Now, on my keyboard, that's immediately below the question mark. It might be different on yours, but it's a forward slash. And it's divided by the denominator, which in this case is 3, which is in cell E18, okay? If I press enter on that, that's 143. So 430 divided by 3 is 143. But hey, hang on a minute. 430 divided by 3 isn't a whole number. There's going to be a fraction in there somewhere for sure. Now you remember with our formatting, we've got format cells. We chose accounting and we had no decimal places. Well look, it's got a sample of our number. That's our number, 143. It just shows there what you remember that we had no decimal places. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple. Let's, let's add four, that'll do. So now our answer is 143.3333. We can change this number here, the denominator, and our answer will change. So let's go um, six and press enter. Now it's 71.6667. Okay, now we're going to go 2. And it's 215. Of course, we've got all those zeros there because we added four decimal places to it. 
So that's how you multiply and divide in Excel. I hope you found this fun and exciting. It might be a little bit basic for some of you, but for people who are just starting out, this is a great way to learn. And now you should take this and practice and learn how to do to your addition, subtraction, multiplication and division and just do it many times. Use different parts of the spreadsheet. You can do it in other places as well. Don't have to do it all in here. You can, uh, you can play with the numbers anywhere you like, but the important thing is just to make sure that it's working for you. And if you want to get somebody else to check it who's good at mathematics, or you want to check it with a calculator, that's probably not a bad way to do it. But if you get that uh, right down to a fine art, and you can do it straight away, that means you can do pretty much anything else in Excel because everything builds on these basic operators, okay? If you can add, subtract, multiply and divide, we're really well on our way to understanding how Excel works because it works on mathematics. But you can put text in as well as you can see. I've got these words that I put in there. It knows this is a word, not a formula because, look, it doesn't have an equal sign at the front. If you don't put an equal sign in front, it's either going to be a number, if it is a numeric character that you put in, or it's going to be text if it's a text character you put in. Now later on we'll look at how you can make text numbers and things like that, but you don't need to know that right now. That's enough, just practice those and we'll see you next time here on Excel in Bytes from Red Fox. Now this is Roger from Red Fox signing off. I hope you enjoy your Excel and keep safe. See you next time.